Hello, boys and girls, my name is Otsus D and welcome back to season 41 of my FTL series. FTL is Faster Than Light, a space adventure survival game strategy. It's also somewhere in there. Um, strategy comes in, you have to fight or uh, strategize your way from the left to the right to the exit through several sectors and in the eighth one there's a big boss fight each sector will become progressively harder so you have to upgrade your ship using the scrap the currency in this game there are different races this one are slugs um, their only advantage is basically they cannot be mind controlled through uh, mind control like we have here uh, but they move a bit sluggish what would you otherwise expect this of course is a slug ship layout c nice and yellow so let's try to find ourselves a bit of uh, of scrap here so we can um make some progress aside from uh, mind control we have hacking which will come in handy eventually we also have a clone bay so we can clone back uh, uh, crew members and they have a crew of two rocks rocks uh, are rock creatures they can resist uh, uh, fire they are hard to kill or they have more health than uh, than the usual uh, uh, crew member we have a fire in here and in here And they're gone. We get some scrap out of that fight. Uh, here we also get a missile and a bit of fuel. Always nice. So let's wait for the fire to go out. Oxygen to come back a bit and then jump out before the next solar flare hits us. This one is an automated ship, which means there is no crew aboard. Um, there is also no oxygen on the ship, just in case um, you want to go uh, boarding. Um, they have a beam drone and a one-shot laser. I have to be a bit lucky here. Yes. Uh, we also have to be a bit lucky with their shots, with our shots, so we can bring the, the laser down. I think there is fire in here. Yes. Them being an automated ship, they will eventually repair, but the repairs are going slow. And we do have a chain laser for a weapon, which has, I think, a 16 second load time the first time, but with each shot, it reduces, uh, I think, down to uh, 7 seconds, which is fast get more scrap and also something from the uh, uh, station and we also got a drone part which we require when we uh, employ our hacking there is a distress up here so let's go to that um, they want fuel uh, we will give them which usually is a good idea and we get a reactor upgrade out of it 
then we move on. Okay. They want to get away. They have a missile. And a laser. So let's try to use mind control right before our uh, laser starts. Okay. Nice. That brings their weapons down, or brought their weapons down. Let's see if we can prevent that. No. Maybe we should also have used hacking here. We will eventually see uh, how hacking works. Let's move on. So here we have same strategy. They have a rock. And a human, nice, that got the, uh, the flag down, which is the bigger problem when it comes to uh, their weapons. And rocks, they are immune to fire, they move a bit slow, are not that fast uh, at repairing, um, but they have more health than the uh, average guy. And their ships, they have a, a special hard hull plating, so sometimes they can resist uh, uh, our uh, hits and the hull does not take damage because only uh, when the hull goes down to null um, the ship is destroyed let's go down here okay they have a rock and a mantis Mantis are fast moving and uh, um, a fighter race. So, if possible, you want to avoid getting uh, into a scramble with them because they can pretty much uh, do damage to you. We should be good here because both races are not. Uh, known for their uh, repair skills. Okay, we get scrap from that fight and we get Stelly uh, Mantis for our crew, which we will put immediately on shields. And then we move on. Okay. Store rescue at a quest in the next sector. Probably. An automated chip, no shield, but cloak.
Let's hope we can uh, have a good hit here on the, uh, the first one. He cloaked again, which means during that time our um, weapons are not loading. They ionize the door instead of the shield, which is a good thing. Yeah. Nice. Our weapons are done. Eventually they will repair. Hopefully not too fast. Then we can deal with their cloak. Or try to deal with their cloak. Yep. That's it. down here and then up again into the nebula okay they have two lasers they have um, mark 2 um, defense drone and they want to get away Let's try and deal with the drone first. Probably we will not get anywhere. Unless their drone misses a hit on our uh, shot because this way we can only get down a laser and they get away which means fleet pursuit is increased so we will go to the store instead of uh, the nebula here we have Drone control. Drone control would be good, it would be better with defense drone. But I think we can get a defense drone um, uh, anyway. And then we go into the nebula, into an iron storm, which drains some of the uh, energy. We need shield and a weapon. That's how we play it. And then we will focus on their shield. Because they have one shot laser, we have one shield, so uh, they cannot do anything other than bring the shield down. Uh, maybe focus on uh, engine. Piloting. Piloting would probably be good. 
Because piloting is a system that does not require power. So that way we can ensure that uh, they only ever power up one of their lasers. Okay, one more hit. Nice. And then we will move on to the exit. Where we will sort out our systems. Um, we add one more power bar here. We can have uh, the combat drone up and running. We could also focus on shield or weapon next. And I think the next sector will be civilian controlled, but that's for next episode. Hope to see you then. Goodbye!